We're gonna vlog on Two Crazy Ketos today. And we'll get this day started right, right after, after this. this. What's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, sometimes we vlog our days, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah, I just realized that today is the first time we're able to vlog in the car with it stationary, not have to have the engine on oh for the air goodness. conditioner. It feels so nice outside. And even though I'm probably like overkilling it here with my sweater weather, we got to get it while the getting's good. It's like 70 degrees outside. So anywhere else in the country, you know, they're going, uh, 70 degrees is not sweater weather. It is shorts weather. But it's what I got and I got to work with it. So we are going to kind of do a hodgepodge vlog today. We have a bunch of stuff to do. It's a Monday. I did all my work this morning. I've got a turkey in the smoker because we're gonna work on some recipes throughout the week on what to do with your leftover turkey. What do you do with leftover turkey that's got a few different ideas. One of them is using my new crust and making like a turkey pot pie. Ooh, I can't wait for that. So that was one of them. We're doing a meal prep. Mm -hmm. I just did a bunch of ground beef. And then when I get home after we go to the store, we're going to make some ground beef meal preps. Okay. And what else are we doing? We're going out to eat. We're going out for lunch. We got a lot of food going on. Yeah. Turkey, ground beef, and going out to eat. And going out to eat. And then we're also going to go to Sprouts to get a couple things that are on sale because I noticed they have the Horizon Heavy Whipping Cream on sale for just $2.99 a pint. And that's like cheaper than the non-organic brands. And dude, we can go through it. Especially with, our, with uh, Thanksgiving coming up. Yeah. We definitely need to make sure we suck up on our heavy cream. So let's get to the store. Oh, wait, before we do, look what came in the mail today. What's in the mail today? I'm so excited about this. So found out about this from Vivid J. He Thank put a you, thing Vivid on his J. picture and I immediately went and ordered it. This is Super Coffee. We're not affiliated with them, but I love Super Coffee. I'm like living off of this stuff, both the Super Coffee and the Super Creamer. And you're like the super creamer more I, than the super coffee. I really like the the creamer, the maple pumpkin one. I'm going to be so sorry to see it go. You have just under two cases left. Then you're, in, then you're in trouble. So this is super coffee. This is like going to the store and buying one of those little Starbucks drinks. So the Frappuccinos. The Dunkin' Donuts one, something like that. But mint chocolate chip is like your groove. Oh, yeah. I'm excited about this. Uh, now, they do cost about three dollars a piece which i thought was really expensive until i saw that like the dunkin donuts ones are like two dollars and eighty cents all of these things are expensive and they the dunkin donuts ones have like 50 grams of sugar in them so nutrition on this one so this is a new flavor 80 calories in the entire bottle we got a plane flying over us sorry i hope they're going somewhere fun five grams of total fat 10 grams of protein okay one total carbohydrate, not net carbohydrate, total carbohydrate oh in the whole bottle. Gracious. Here's the ingredients, and this is what's really nice about it. They don't even put like a bunch of nasty sweeteners or anything in this. Mm -hmm. So you have organic Colombian coffee, whey protein concentrate, or uh, coconut MCT oil, monk fruit, natural chocolate flavors, natural peppermint flavors, natural flavors, potassium phosphate, Galan gum, organic green coffee caffeine. So it's not chocolate chip, it's mint and mint, peppermint. It's mint chocolate peppermint or okay. white chocolate peppermint. Well, I wouldn't take a sip of this. I don't know about that. It depends on how good it is, whether you're getting any of this. If, you, if you're gonna share or not. So as far as I know, the company's not actually selling it on their website. You have to find it in a store or I will leave a link down below. I found it on a website called Oasis Snacks. Okay. And I think if they, I think the thing is if you spend $40 or $50, I think it's $40, you get free shipping. I, but I think they also don't ship for free to California for some reason. And that Oasis Snacks seems to have like the inside track on a lot of snack food. Ooh. Is it good? It is not 
overly minty chocolatey, which is really which good. Which is actually. good for me. It's it's like coffee drink with a hint of mint chocolate. Just a hint of mint. Wow. Just enough. Yeah. You that took a is, big swig. That is good, and that coffee is good because I'm a I'm a coffee aficionado. Yeah. So I'm gonna come in and weigh on on the coffee flavor. It's good. The coffee good. flavor. This is, is really good. Really Again, good. I'll leave a link for Oasis Snacks, which is the only place that I know of that you can get it online. Again, not affiliated, but we really like these, and they have a lot of coupons for that place too. You may have to hide some of those. I only have two cases. Let's go to the store. Tucker Deuce. We're actually going out to eat together for once. These menus are very well loved. Well, it's like a lunchbox place. So if you've never been here, or if you guys don't have a Tucker Deuce near you, uh, they have a lot of good burgers. We've actually had this burger like before keto. Judging from the smudge marks, a lot of people have tried it. <laughs> yeah. So this is what we're gonna get. It's like the most keto burger on here. It's six slices of bacon, sunny egg, two slices of American and of cheddar. Let's go and get and Tucker sauce. Good. So I know that we are helping the environment with these paper straws, but the things that like just dissolve in your mouth while you're drinking, not my favorite thing. It's time to eat. Look at this. So let's take a look at what we got here. We both have the same exact thing. So it's a half pound burger. It has six slices of bacon. It has cheddar cheese and American cheese. I mean, the American cheese isn't the greatest. I actually forgot to. Usually I tell them to like sub out the cheddar American cheese and just do all cheddar. Wasn't thinking. Then we've got an egg on top. Not Rachel's favorite way the egg is cooked. It's super runny. And then the sauce, which sometimes we'll eat it, sometimes we won't. But overall, the burger is amazing. And I am ready to get started. So clearly that was terrible. Yeah, we were just a little hungry. Like that took less than five minutes to finish that burger. Delicious. So we went to pay and the bill is $10 cheaper than it's supposed to be. That's not sad. So the girl said that on Mondays, the Mondragons were only $10 instead of 15, but we have a $30 gift card that you have to use the entire thing. So we're just gonna get another one and take it home and split it for dinner. Sounds delicious. Okay, we just got to Sprouts. We're gonna run in and grab a couple of things that we have coupons for and some things that are on sale. And I'm excited that we're actually gonna be shopping on a full stomach. This way we're not gonna buy anything we're not supposed to be eating. Strategy. So we're here at Sprouts and we found this Chompies. A lot of you guys keep asking us to review this, but I have to tell you, I'm looking at this ingredient label and I'm not super comfortable with it. I mean, yes, it is only 66 calories, two grams of fat, eight grams of protein, seven total carbs, five uh, grams of fiber. So it's only two net carbs per slice, but I'm not really comfortable with looking at these ingredients. You've got soy flour, vital wheat gluten, wheat starch, wheat protein, wheat flour, and then soybean oil, cinnamon salt, cultured wheat, vinegar, yeast, raisins, enzymes. I have really worked hard to get wheat out of my diet, so this is just a little bit too much wheat for me to consume, even for just trying it for the channel. Now, we don't want to completely disappoint you guys, so we are going to pick up these and review these. These are egg thins, and they're expensive. They're $5.99, but we are going to review these because I know a lot of people keep asking us about them, and I'm comfortable with these ingredients. So take a look at the ingredients. Egg white, whole egg, cauliflower powder, olive oil, sea salt, xanthan gum, spices, citric acid. We're gonna get these, try them out, and then we're gonna see if we can duplicate them. How do you know when you're looking at a keto grocery cart in Sprouts, you have a ridiculous amount of heavy whipping cream and sausage. And eggs. These eggs are on sale, $2.99 a dozen only in this store. The heavy cream is $3 and the expiration date is the end of January. I think we're gonna go home and just fill our pool up with it. Yep, then we got some bacon and these are on sale and they were $2, two for five. So we're gonna get a whole bunch of them and stick them in the freezer, especially with the holidays. So you guys know how much I like the Kaitu Super Creamer that is the um, pumpkin spice but I'm gonna try this one because I have been drinking quite a bit of the Kai too, and this is only 15 calories for two tablespoons. So I know it's not gonna be as creamy, but we're gonna give it a shot. So I've been meaning to try this stuff. I'm so excited they actually have it. This is Death Wish Coffee. I've heard a lot of good things about this stuff. It is like supposed to be the world's strongest coffee. On the back, it even says highly caffeinated. So we're going to get this. It is a little expensive, but we never go out for coffee anyway. 
it's twenty dollars for this bag. Definitely a keto grocery haul. Joyce Meyer would be proud. I put my cart back. <laughs> So as we have said in numerous videos, if you don't like the weather in South Florida, wait a minute, it's hot out now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to tell, oh, okay, I'm looking right here. It's 80 degrees. I when we left the house. I didn't savor it enough. When we left the house two hours ago, it was 70 degrees. It's now 80 at four o'clock in the afternoon. Here's the worst part is, the windows are all open in the house and the air conditioner is off. Oh no! We may be going home to a boiling room. <laughs> the kids are home though, so maybe they were smart enough to close the windows. Well, probably not. Doubtful. So uh, I think everybody was looking at us like we were a little crazy. We spent $140 in sprouts, which sounds like a lot, but I don't think it's a lot for sprouts. No, and I think that we have enough pumpkin to uh, feed an army. Yeah, so in addition to what you saw at the very last minute, Rachel found they had their canned organic sprouts brand pumpkin. Dollar a can. Dollar a can. It was like a dollar a can savings. So we bought 10 cans of it, just number one for recipes, number two to just have throughout the year because sometimes it's hard to find canned pumpkin down well, here. Well, we've got Thanksgiving coming and I'm sure that mom is gonna want a pumpkin pie. Yeah, so in addition to that, we bought six dozen eggs because the eggs were marked from $5.99 a dozen to $2.99 a dozen. This store only, pasture raised, a lot of heavy cream. A lot. But the expiration date's the end of January and it was $2 off a container. And, and we go through a lot of heavy cream. Lord knows we cook with a lot of heavy cream. We also bought a couple pounds of the sugar-free bacon. Mm -hmm. And then we got that sausage, which is normally like $5 for like one tube of it was on sale two for five. And it's really good because there's like no chemicals or anything in it. And so. we're going to make balls. <laughs> So uh, I don't think we have to go to the farmer's market. I got what I needed here because we're going to go home and I'm going to make a shepherd's pie as one of our meal prep for the week. So I needed cauliflower and some carrots and I just mm. got them here at Sprouts. So we were going to stop at the store and look at a table. Maybe we can still stop real quick. We're not going to be in there for very long, right? We have a lot of heavy cream in here. Well, maybe we should take that back home and then go back out. Let's do that. Let's do it. We got a table. Let's go look at that and then we'll go over what our meal prep is. So it was a busy day and like, you know, we went out to eat, we went food shopping, we were meal prepping and we decided after we went to like Sprouts, let's go and look for a table mm -hmm. because we wanted something for our studio. This is like a really tall, it's hard to tell with the video and like all the lights and everything but it was this really cool bar table and it's even got this cool bench. Let me show the bench. Like That's it's so got funny. this really cool bench. I do have pajama pants on now. That's okay. So we needed a new table because we like we were dealing with like an old little dining room square table. And so, and we, we have like tons of little folding tables to like put junk on you know, when we're doing videos and for you to like teeter totter your computer. Yeah, computers on. are like piled on top of boxes, which were, especially Nothing. when we're live streaming and stuff like that. So we really wanted like a long table. We were gonna build one like out of like an old door or something like that. Yeah. And we decided we have this place by us called Rooms to Go, but they have an outlet center. And so Rachel's like, oh, I went with my mom the other day and we saw this table, I want you to see it. It was beautiful. And it's gorgeous, but- Nice and tall. The price was ridiculous. It was $300 for the base. $300, $300 for, for the top. top. And then the benches were $300, $300 a piece. And we're like, yeah, we just can't afford that. Yeah, even if we just got one bench, that was gonna be what, $900? Yeah, so what we had decided we were gonna do was I photographed everything, cause I'm super handy and I own like every tool in the world when it comes to woodworking, except he for does. routers, I don't have any routers. But we took like every photo from every angle and I'm like, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna build the table. I'm gonna duplicate it with the exception of the iron bar that goes around the bottom for your feet. Which I really wanted, but yeah. But I'm like, I can build that table for a couple hundred bucks maybe. Yeah. You know, maybe a little bit more, but it's gonna be some time consuming, but I knew I could do it. And I'm like, then we'll just buy the bench because they had two benches. They had the one that we got, which was 300, and then they had another one that wasn't, as nice for, for 200 and we're like we'll just buy that bench 
and he was like, if I could just keep the wood budget to 500 bucks, if I could just keep the table budget right at 500, right. we'll be good. We'll be good. As we're leaving, I was like, let's just look at like their scratch and dent showroom. Right. Not really thinking that we we're going to find much, honestly. And we were just, we were looking to see if they had any benches or bar stools so that instead of getting the bench, we could get like a couple of bar stools or something like that. Because we wanted something like table height, like bar height. But we were anticipating like making do. Right. Right. Um, and there in the middle of the showroom was our table. Right. Not one like our table, the table the that The table we that wanted. we wanted. And I mean, the only thing that is wrong with it, and I'll put a picture up right here, was the corner of one of the bar stools has a tiny little tear in it. But I'm like, I can fix that and get a leather repair kit and fix that. And I couldn't believe my eyes. They were like, the table is $500 and that includes two, two benches. And upgraded benches. So it was supposed to be like $1,200 for this whole nice table and everything. And we paid 500 bucks for God it. God is good. Which, I mean, it is a lot of money. Like, we have not bought furniture for ourselves in... Eight years. Yeah, I mean, usually we go to a thrift and that was, store or big lots. Yeah. yeah, like our old dining room table came from big lots. Like when we got married, and I think that that was like a Christmas present from your mother. Yeah, I think it was too. So, so a lot of our furniture is always like hand me down. I think this is like the first like new piece of furniture that we bought together. I think possibly yeah because our our bed i built right our whole our home master bedroom piece i built it's got a nice credenza in the back with a storage unit mm -hmm. the kids beds i built our entertainment center i built <laughs> <laughs> so this has got to be really nice that you don't have to try to find more time to build something yeah that's what i'm excited about because like we have a lot going and on and it's exactly what we want so i mean god really answers prayers yeah. right i mean this is exactly what we wanted and yeah. it was the price was was something we could actually afford so yeah praise god he's it is awesome hot in here because we have all the lights on and i have the air conditioner off but what was really cool about it and we'll show you we're gonna go show you guys the meal prep that we did for the weekend anthony helped i actually because we were going back out to get this mm -hmm. like i had him make the shepherd's pie i had already browned up the ground beef and i was like here's the cauliflower just make the shepherd's pie follow the recipe from our website he likes cooking and he so. loves to cook but what was really cool is again we only needed one bench because camera's on that side we're sitting on this side where we need a second 300 dollars bench for right the bench matches the bar height in our kitchen perfectly which we've never had bar stools that are the right size. We had height. the wrong size because the bar stool we were using matched the table that we were using before for this, which was like one of those, like, what is it called? Counter height? Yeah. It was like a counter so height table. So we always laughed that anytime you were sitting, so right, like that. you were always at the kid's table because right. you always were like this little. Right. Trying to eat your food. So God just. It was awesome. Home awesome. Line. So look at this. Isn't this cool? Look at how this thing perfectly matches the bar height for the kitchen. So you used to only have those two little bar stools. Now we can actually have three or four people even sit here if they're like kids or something. So come sit down and we'll sit on this side for once. Here I Ignore come. our dirty kitchen. I know, it's a mess. And this is the meal prep. Look at, this is our carb splurge for Thanksgiving. It looks like a pumpkin. It's a kabucha squash. Oh my gracious, we have been looking for this forever. Yeah, it's, it's not like, zero carb but it's not ridiculous but i'm gonna try it and we're gonna have that for thanksgiving it looks like it thinks it's an avocado yeah <laughs> okay so here's what we got first of all we have a turkey finishing up in the oven um i had it on the smoker and then i'm just finishing it up in there because i turned the smoker off because i was out of pellets so we have over here the taco pie which is a fan favorite. Fan favorite. This is a shepherd's, shepherd's pie, pie, sort of, using ground beef. We didn't use ground lamb because we bought five pounds of ground or six pounds of ground beef at Costco. And then we have everybody's favorite, cheeseburger casserole. Cheeseburger casserole. And we just grabbed some uh, a bag of the Costco bacon bits that are already cooked for this one. Only because we had the bacon. We bought the bacon at Sprouts. But... Since we were running around buying a table and everything else. We fast tracked it. I didn't feel like baking anything. So that is our meal prep. So we have these three things. Each one of these has eight servings. Mm -hmm. Then we have an entire turkey. It was like a 16 pound turkey that we got 
at Walmart for eight dollars. It was like, and it wasn't even a bad brand. I don't remember what was it Butterball. It was. And that's the thing with a turkey, like the value is awesome. Well, when you catch them on sale, they were selling it for 50 cents a pound. We're like, how do we, we bought two of them and like, we're not even making one for Thanksgiving. We're just like, we want some turkey. Now is the time of year to get it. And it's going to stretch so far. Um, and in the past, we used to go to Aldi's like the day after Thanksgiving when they clear them all out and they're taking like $8 off and you pay like $5 a turkey, we'd buy six or seven of yeah. them and stick them in the freezer. Cause a lot of people don't know, like we learned that from, because we knew people that worked in the warehouses. Yes. Some of those turkeys are in the freezer at the like grocery store warehouses for two or three years anyway. I couldn't believe that, but yeah, it's true. So keep yeah. it frozen. It's been frozen. Yeah. So for the rest of my meal, you saw what we ate for lunch. You ate some breakfast, right? I, I ate a couple, breakfast. I ate a couple of eggs. So you had some eggs and stuff. And then right before we left, I had four leftover wings from Saturday when we had those wings stop because I didn't eat all my wings. And then I'm going to finish off. I've got about three quarters of a pound of ground beef, if you can see there. I've got two tablespoons of the Rouse um, tomato, uh, tomato sauce on here. Uh huh. Then I've got two tablespoons of ricotta cheese because I had some leftover from making our recipes and stuff like Yum. that. And I don't I want love it to go bad. Stuff. Then I'm gonna eat some keto brick. This is a cookies and cream one. And your coffee's over there. Ooh, I coffee. made you coffee. Thank you. Even though it's nine o'clock at night, we're gonna have coffee. Is this the new Calfia th Farms? Yeah, that's, and then I'm having a cup of coffee with one serving, three tablespoons of the Kaitu, uh, the, the cream one, the sweet cream. So this is really good. It's nowhere near as creamy, obviously as the uh, the Kai Tu maple pumpkin one. Yeah. But it's not as many calories either. It's 15 calories. I think, what is it? For one serving, two tablespoons. Serving. serving is two tablespoons. It's one carb. Yeah. There was one carb. Yeah. So, you know, not quite as good, but it's another thing if you were gonna have multiple cups of coffee like Rachel is per day, we figured we'd try it. It was the same price too. I think you actually got it on sale. So it was five bucks. I'd probably usually lean more towards the Kaitu, especially if you can get it on sale. So I did want to mention real quick before we close this vlog out, uh, we keep talking about the Oasis Snacks, mm -hmm. which is where I've been getting the super coffee from because right. sometimes it's cheaper than buying it directly from Kaitu, which is, which is crazy, really weird. But... And they've had all of the new flavors. Well, right as we were getting ready to close this out, I actually got an email for a coupon code that they're having for, I guess, kind of like Thanksgiving, Black Friday, but it's effective now. And awesome. I'm gonna put it right here across the bottom of the screen because I don't remember, it's like thanks something. So it's right here across the bottom of the screen. I'll leave a link down below. It's 15% off your purchase. Hey, that's gonna save a lot of money. And again, we are not affiliated with them at all. We don't make any money off of them. I They're not all keto products, but they do have some keto products, but I found them looking for the super coffee, so I'm passing it off to you guys. Yeah. So, so that is today's vlog. I know it's not quite as interesting as some of our other vlogs, but it's just been a hectic day. But I feel like we've gotten a lot accomplished. We got a lot accomplished because we don't have to do any cooking for the rest of the week, you know, maybe a little bit of vegetables and some eggs or something like that. But, but the main just, meal for the boys are done. It's just nice to know it's over. Yep, and we can do some filming. We have some product reviews to do. We've got some recipe videos we're gonna do this week. And we've gotta get ready for Thanksgiving. I know, I'm so excited. So. Well, that is the end of our video for today. Please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.